Hey, Head Squeeze, Michael from Vsauce here. Just stick with me. Why are things sticky? What makes them... The question isn't actually, Michael, why are things sticky? It's specifically asked by a viewer, how does glue work? Oh, there, exactly. there's a script there here. There is a script, That is brilliant. Yes. Now you've spoiled it because people think all this stuff comes straight out of my head in a creative stream of conscience. But no, there is a script which I'd like to read for you. Thank you very much for coming along, Michael. You have something like 100,000 times as many followers as me, which is your fault, obviously, for not pressing the subscribe Honestly, button. Honestly, you guys should subscribe. This channel is great, and they're giving me free lunch. Um, and you should subscribe to Michael's channel as well, because that too is great. You're great, Michael. You're greater. No, no, you're great. You're so great. Together, we're the greatest. This is what it's like working in the media. <laughs> there was a grammar lesson, too. Yeah. Okay, great, great, look, great. I'm going to stick around and listen to you talk about why glue is what it is. Okay. Okay. I'll, um, you, yeah. Bye. And then you can come back in in a minute. <clears throat> How does glue work? Glue is actually a very simple concept. It sticks things together. And we've known about it for a very long time because there is evidence that Paleolithic man knew about glue 200,000 years ago when he used it to stick his collection of beer mats on his cave wall. But given that gluing things together is such a simple notion, explaining it is actually rather complex and a source of controversy amongst boffins who chose to study glue rather than something simple such as particle physics. Firstly, let's ditch the term glue because that could mean something abstract like the social glue. Techie types prefer the term adhesives, so that's what we'll do here. There are several categories of adhesive. They can be reactive, relying on a chemical reaction to make them harden, or non-reactive, not relying on a chemical reaction to make them harden. There can be drying adhesives, pressure adhesives, contact adhesives, multi-part adhesives, and natural adhesives. The first adhesives were, of course, completely natural and made from anything that happened to be sticky, so beeswax, jam, tar, bogies. Then came more complex chemical adhesives, most famously animal glue. And these were made by boiling up whatever was left on the slaughterhouse floor when everything else had gone into the food chain from posh sirloin steaks right down to the rubbish that we call cat food. So, horses hooves, for example. In the modern age, the chemical industry has produced sophisticated superglues such as acrylic or cyanoacrylic, or most famously, two-part epoxy. Adhesives need to have adhesion, the ability to stick to things, and cohesion, the ability to stick to themselves. Adhesion occurs at a molecular level, and this is where theories are in conflict, because some people say it is all down to mechanical bonding, but others say it's down to something called van der Waals forces. In simple pub bluffers terms, van der Waals forces come into play when molecules are polarized. They have a positive and a negative end. So they attract each other like billions and billions of microscopic magnets. The problem is, we know that van der Waals forces only work when materials are in extremely close proximity. Actually, about 0.1 nanometers. That's a 10 billionth of a meter. So, the rival cam thinks that isn't what's happening at all when we glue things together, at least not all of the time. They say there must be an element of mechanical bonding, more specifically, something they call mechanical locking. The theory here is that any apparently perfectly smooth surface, a sheet of glass, a pool ball, David Cameron's face, is actually very rough when viewed at a microscopic level. The adhesive therefore works by flowing into these imperfections and locking into the imperfections on both sides. And this explains why rough things stick together better than smooth things. And it also explains why the instructions on many adhesives ask you to key, i.e. rough up, the two surfaces to be joined. The truth is, adhesives probably work through a combination of several or even all of the things I've just described. What we do know is that modern adhesives work extremely well indeed. 
And since significant portions of modern passenger carrying aeroplanes are stuck together with it, that's probably just as well. Yes, it certainly is. I'm glad I stuck around. That was very cool. Yeah, thanks for sticking around. What's been your favorite topic so far? Poor. Well, it's a sticky honest, one. It is a sticky one. It's uh, pus. I just like the pus one because it's not something that particularly interests me. I just know that people like stuff about What's pus. What's not to like about pus? Yeah, pus, bogey, poo, anything like that. People love it. It's almost as gross as the idea of a head squeeze. The name of this channel, which you guys should subscribe to. The videos are great. Math, science, news. I mean, it's a no-brainer. Yeah, subscribe to Michael as well. He's great, you know. He's, he's, he's so... He's so stylish, he pops up from the bottom of your screen. Yes, it's terrific. I'm really muscular. Yeah, I'm really he's rich. Handsome. He's got really I'm hilarious. Long, flowing sort of cavalier's hair. Oh. Did.